Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. This is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? Today is Friday the 18th of May 2018 and it's going to be a iconic day in my life, maybe, I don't know. Basically, I'm off to go and get myself a tattoo. Um, it's something that I've been wanting for a long time, like for about 10 years. I think I first contemplated getting a tattoo when I was 18 and I'm nearly 28 now, so it's been a long time coming. I've, you know, there's been different designs, different things that I've wanted and the original thing that I wanted is not what I'm getting today, but I still do want that one day maybe. Uh, but I'm just getting a small tattoo. You'll see it, you you'll probably would have seen it in the thumbnail, but you will see it as the day goes on. Um, it is going to be Disney related, of course. I mean, look at stage also, mayo. Um, and if you're wondering where I'm getting it, on my arm, on my like forearm, like literally here. So this is me saying goodbye to my arm as it is, my left arm. Um, it's not going to look like this anymore after today. Lord have mercy. It's my first ever tattoo, as you can probably tell. I've had a lot of piercings before, but not tattoos. I'm basically a newbie to tattoos. I'm not at all really scared of the pain or anything, because I feel like I'm generally good with that kind of pain. Not that I've had a tattoo before, but you know what I mean? Like, needles don't bother me. You know, when I get injections and stuff at the doctors, I'm always fine with them. Um, but I guess I'm just a little bit nervous about just the whole process, like how it goes, how it works, because I've never done it before. And... I'm excited as well though, I'm really excited, so this is it, this is my arm, um, also I've got a little scar here which you probably can't see, so I'm wondering how or if it will affect it, but it's, it's not going to be a big tattoo, it's going to be a small tattoo, so hopefully things should be okay, um, I'm off to meet my friend Rakaya, she's coming with me, my brother might be coming as well actually, I don't know if he'd want to be in the vlog, who knows, but yeah, um, yeah, off to meet them soon and then to get the tattoo done at 1pm. <laughs> Bye bye. Hi, brother. Hello. My brother's here. Um, we are. I didn't think we were gonna make it on time actually, because there was the traffic was terrible. But thankfully, it's literally one o'clock, and I have made it. This is the tattoo place. I don't actually know how much I'm gonna to film once I get inside. Probably not much, but I'm gonna go in there now. How do you feel, brother, about the fact that you're not gonna see this arm as it scared. is? It's huh? scared. It's gonna hurt. You're so mean! Yesterday, last night he's texting me saying it's not just going to be painless, like, and I'm like, what? How do you know, Reza? Have you got a tattoo? Like a secret tattoo? And now he's saying he just enjoys being an annoying person. Anyway, Rakaya's running late as well because of the traffic, so I guess I'll speak to you next whenever I'm, I can. I'll speak to you later as well. <laughs> Hi, I'm here now. My uh, tattoo artist is called Ben. This is the design you'll see in a second. Um, as obviously, as I know, it's my first tattoo, so I have no idea what happens or what to expect, really. But I think they like to do on a stencil situation first, and then they check it, and then they see how it goes. But yeah, this is it. This is the scenario. That's the scenario. Um, yeah, this is what's gonna what it's gonna look like. I'm just testing it. I'll try and see from different angles. believe the situation anyway I need to get it wrapped up now Lord have mercy Rakaia and my brother Reza are just there talking they have no idea I'm here got it here it's all 
wrapped up. They haven't even noticed me, that's so funny. Guys, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Oh, it's so cute. What do you think, Reza? Because you didn't know, you didn't know either oh, exactly yeah. though. Oh. Is it genuinely, both of you? So yeah? I thought it was going to be different. Yeah. What did you What did you think? What did you both think it was going to be like instead? Because I, I didn't show them. No. Yeah, I, 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 well, because you spoke to me about a few different ideas. Yeah. Um, oh my god, it, it didn't take long at all. No. Yeah. I was literally like, 20 minutes yeah. or so? I mean, we would have spent time like... And he was so great. He like, did it five different times before yeah. actually like, yeah. being happy with the positioning of it. Yeah. So, Reza, you're contemplating what's wrong. I really like it. Really? Genuine? Oh, okay. I'm happy okay, now. It's such a thin line as well. Yeah, I didn't want it to be anything like bigger. Okay. Thanks, guys. I'm so proud of you. It didn't even hurt. It really doesn't hurt that bad either. It's, just, it's like annoying. Isn't yeah, it? like I've had much worse pains before in my life. Like, Lord have mercy, this was nothing. Just left the. It's called ink and extreme needle. Extreme needle. needle. It's crazy. Like I've been to this. Been back and forth in the past week. I've been to this place like so many times. Yeah. Literally three or four times. Yeah. I forget um, the name of it. To the point where, like, when I first got here. Rosa, you saw that, the lady that worked at the reception, I was like, do you remember me? And she was like, she had to think a little bit, but she did. She probably sees so many people. Yeah, but she I did. I get like that when she did. people at work are like, do you remember me? What do you mean? They've been, been like, the brother's annoying, sorry. Sorry to like, he's just I mean, annoying. I know you very well, so. And you know that I'm the same as my brother. You're literally like, the same. <laughs> um, sorry, can you continue so, your story? You were saying a story? Oh, just customers at work. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, do you remember me? I'm like, I've literally served like I know. 300 people. But the reason she remembered me is because when I first went there, my initial, the first time I went, I just was really nice to her colleague. Yeah. And, I, like, uh -huh, yeah. and she like made a joke like, I was like, why are you being so nice to him? Blah, blah, blah. blah. <laughs> and then when I, I remembered, yeah. like, I reminded her by saying, oh, I was the one who was really nice to you. And then he, she was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, that's the thing that I'm still trying to get used to. I'll just show it to you properly later on, blah, 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 blah. I'm very happy that both Reza and Rakai are yeah, happy man. with it. Me too. Brother said he thought it was going to be a lot more cheesy. I, I yeah. thought it was going to be a lot more cheesy. You thought it was going to have a coloured in and everything? It's more buttery. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was... <laughs> that was quite funny. But not really. It's like a very bad joke. Was, I'm glad you... And... No! no. <laughs> Fine. Sure. Anyway, we are now going to go and get some aftercare and all that yeah. stuff. So and butter it up. <laughs> <laughs> Why? We Why? Why do I have these people in my life? <laughs> it is now about four hours since I got the tattoo. It's currently 5.35 and I was booked to have my tattoo at one o'clock. Obviously by the time it actually happened, I think it was like 1.30 or something. But um, yeah, I still need to wait, I think another maybe half an hour or so, another hour maybe I push before I clean this for the first time. Like I need to take this off. I need to actually read through the thing um, one more time just to make sure I'm doing it correctly. Uh, funny story actually, when I went to Boots afterwards to... Um, get like some stuff for the tattoo and also another thing I need I needed some iron pills different story the guy behind the counter said that he'd literally been tattooed in the same place as me and that he goes there quite often I was like whoa what a small world it was just amazing because it wasn't even a boots in the near in the area we went to another boots like somewhere else uh, so just the chance of that happening was just it was a sign that I should have taken you know had this tattoo done at this precise place that I went to which was great by the way I loved my tattoo artist Ben he was fantastic um I'll talk about it a bit more later but I just thought I'd show you again one more time like properly I guess a close-up of it <laughs> lord have mercy I'm so obsessed with it um you probably can't even see it you'll see it when I take it off obviously I'm gonna this vlog's not gonna continue or finish yet I think I'm gonna wait until tomorrow and maybe show it to you then when it's slightly better when it's actually been cleaned once at least sorry about the mess everywhere guys as in like my room not my hand um but yeah i'm off to see uh chess tonight with rakaya my friend you all know um so in the next hour we need to leave to go to chess so i need to clean this before i go to chess if that makes sense i'm not vlogging it but there, there is a vlog of chess if you want to see my chess the musical vlog go and watch that if you want but yeah also i thought i'd show you this which is which is uh, i changed my top and it's a castle top. I don't think this is like necessarily the Disneyland Paris castle because the tattoo that I got is specifically the Disneyland Paris castle because it's my favourite castle. It's my favourite park of all time. Like, I love it. It's my home park. Um, but this is just like a Disney top that I think I got from Truffle Shuffle, maybe, or Primark. I don't know which one, but a while ago. Um, so I just thought that was cool. I do want to wear a long-sleeved um, top today when I go out. Even though it's quite warm, I just think I'd rather not have it too exposed at the moment obviously i wore a t-shirt when i got the tattoo done because i thought it'd be easier for the tattoo artist to do it but i feel like this evening i'm just gonna wear maybe this or something that is long sleeved but i'm looking forward to watching it for the first time and seeing how it goes it it hurt a little bit by the way it didn't obviously the process of it um when it was i was getting it done it didn't hurt as bad as i thought it would like at all but 
in the first hour I want to say like after I got it done every now and again I'd have like little tiny bits of pain and random bits and I was like that's really weird because it's obviously now done but it randomly now hurts but it's almost like you know when you get a cut somewhere and like randomly like at random moments you might have a bit of a pain in it it was that kind of vibe but it hasn't hurt for the past few hours so it's all good it really literally like I've had much worse pains before in my life like I genuinely mean it obviously I know that it's a very small tattoo and it's just an outline and like shading is a lot more painful that kind of thing but this was absolutely fine like not bad at all in terms of pain guys i just cleaned my tattoo for the first time i've taken the bandage off and just done the cleaning situation and i hope i've done it right i was like i've literally got this thing here with me by the way you guys are in my bathroom at the moment welcome um i've got the instruction thing here and just looks so cool like without the bandage let me just oh lord have mercy is it gonna focus kind of oh there you go obviously my hands are at a really weird angle right now so you can't kind of you can kind of see it but i'm so happy with it i think it's just done so well and it's just oh, I'm I'm in love with it I mean obviously I'm gonna have this for, you know on me for the rest of my life and potentially you know one day I'll stop being so like oh my god I can't believe I've got this but because the first day I'm like lord have mercy this is a real thing I still haven't applied this to it which is um uh bepanthin which is like for like babies nappy stuff which is hilarious but I need to apply that now and um Rukai, my friend she's had a tattoo before and she said that she wrapped it up again after that uh, my tattoo artist said i don't need to but because i'm going to a show tonight i feel like i might as well just put a little like cling film thing on it again as well not like tightly but just to make sure it's covered i don't know just because it's the first day why not but um yeah this is basically what it looks like obviously this vlog is still continuing i'm going to talk to you again probably tomorrow like i said when i've had like one day with it or 24 hours good morning guys it is now the next morning the 19th of may 2018 and i I've just woken up more or less. I'm off to work today. I've got a full day of work. So I need to make sure I take all my tattoo, like cleaning stuff to work with me because I'm at work until like 11 pm. Um, but I just want to show you my tattoo right now because I don't know if you can see or not. I just want to show you something because it concerned me a little bit yesterday and it's something that apparently does happen with um, tattoos a lot. Oh, Lord have mercy, is it going to focus? There you go. So, yesterday when I was watching chess last night, something similar happened where, as you can see, there's like a bit of ink just like around the tattoos um and i was like panicking and i was like lord have mercy oh my god this has gone completely wrong and then you know akaya thankfully who already has had a tattoo was like don't worry it happened to my tattoo as well and i also panicked but apparently that's completely fine it's basically excess ink like they, they put a good tattoo artist apparently puts too much ink so that the rest because obviously some of the ink would get rejected by your body and that's basically what's happening. So you can't see it much today, but yesterday it was quite a lot. Um, and that's it, you just have to watch it very carefully and then that goes away and it goes back to just the line. So I thought I'd show you that because it's something that I didn't know. No one even no one told me. Um, and it doesn't happen with every single tattoo, but if it's a good tattoo artist, it probably will happen. Um, and I was panicking. I, if I didn't have Rakai, if I didn't have someone there who had a tattoo and had the same experience, I would have genuinely panicked. Sorry about that text. But yeah, I'm off to work. Um, it still looks like I can't believe it's there still. It's so weird. But I'm going to wash my tattoo now, do the whole situation thing with the cream and everything. And then I guess next time I'll talk to you will be tonight. And that will be my last bit when I just chat to you about everything properly in a sit down section. Yo, so it is a couple of days later. Today's actually Sunday the 20th, I believe, of May 2018 yes it is um so I've had my tattoo for two days still can't believe it the past two mornings when I've woken up I've just like panically looked at my you know hand to make sure it's still there it's so weird when you get your first tattoo because you're just like basically I've always been drawing things on my hands like you know since ever since I can remember really I just love drawing things on my hands that's just the kind of person I am uh, and obviously when you draw things on your hands like and then you wash yourself or just like sleep the next day doesn't look as good or like half of it is gone so it was just really bizarre the past few days waking up and seeing it still there looking beautiful oh, lord have mercy um as you can see this is the tattoo still there if it looks a bit shiny it's because I put the little uh, what's it called Bepanthin, I think that's what it is. It's like basically baby nappy cream thing that they recommend to put on your tattoo. Uh, obviously, you have to wash it first and then put it on for like I think a couple of weeks. I don't know. I'm only on day two, like I said. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd talk a little bit more about the tattoo. Um, obviously, let's start with. I guess some of you might be wondering, oh, how long have you wanted a tattoo? How long, have, you know, how did you come with the decision of getting this particular tattoo? Blah 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 blah. Um, I've known that I wanted a tattoo since I was like 
a teenager like 15 I want to say 14 15 when I turned 18 actually funny story I booked myself a um, session like I booked an appointment to go and get a tattoo in Camden in London of all places if you know London you know that Camden I mean I'm sure there are some good places to get tattoos in Camden but I didn't really do any research I just went to this place and booked myself this like appointment I think or like something like that I can't even remember but I was gonna go and then the night before and I literally had like you know my, my friends were gonna come with me blah 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 but then the night before this random article popped up on my internet about how like tattoo ink isn't very safe or something and I was like lord have mercy this is a sign I'm not gonna get a tattoo and so the next day me and my friends ended up going to Camden still had a great day just chilling in Camden but I didn't get the tattoo even though I'd like really wanted it and everything but I just I don't know I just got a little bit scared when I read that article I was like mm, the reason you know the fact that it's just come up on my um computer the night before I was meant to get the tattoo maybe I should like think about it a bit more even though I still knew like that you know, I wanted the tattoo I just was like oh you know what if the tattoo ink I you know people tattoo with isn't actually safe maybe maybe I just don't know about it let's just not do it um and you know am I glad I didn't do it at the time I don't know to be honest because I still want the design that I wanted back then so basically I've always wanted a star which I will still get one day and um that's what I was going to get when I was 18 you know very stereotypical I know everybody gets stars blah 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 I don't care I love stars the stars are my favorite shapes I just love stars I can't help it I love how stars look also a lot of my friends used to call me Sam star back when I was younger I just I like stars okay um and i've always wanted a little star somewhere on my arm and like i said i probably will still get it at some point uh but then you know like i said i didn't get it when i was 18 and then i still kind of always like throughout my university days constantly played with the idea of a tattoo like a small tattoo like my friends would tell you from uni sophie cindy priya they know um you know at one point i wanted to get a w like just a letter w for westlife like i'm not even joking because i love westlife the boy band um <laughs> Again, do I regret, you know, or am I happy that I didn't get that? Maybe, maybe yes with that one because W is a bit of a weird thing to get just because, you know, you love a boy. I mean, I still love Westlife, like I still adore Westlife. But um, yeah, maybe it's a good thing that I didn't get that random W <laughs> on my arm I was going to get, it, I think. But yeah, I've always wanted the tattoo. Um, and recently, in the past year or so, I want to say, I mean, the star idea is still there. It's always there. I constantly draw stars on my arms like if you watch my videos you might have even noticed my arms sometimes with random stars on them because I guess obviously when I wash myself every day it might fade but sometimes it might be like it might be that I just drew the star like an hour or so before I filmed the video so you might it might be visible um but yeah in the past year or so I want to say I've thought I've been thinking about maybe getting a Disney kind of tattoo and I've always known as well that I don't want to get a big tattoo especially now as my first one and I still don't think I'm going to become this crazy person with like, loads of tattoos it's just not something that I think I want but I you know I like the idea of small tattoos if that makes sense um and yeah and a lot of people obviously when it comes to like small Disney tattoos you know the most kind of I want to say most popular choice or the kind of first thing that comes to mind is just to get like a mickey head um which i've always known that i don't want not because i don't like mickey no offense like i, I love mickey as you can probably tell like in in the background I've, i'm literally staring at a bunch of mickeys right now i love mickey mouse you guys know this i just don't like a mickey outline to me that it just it's not something that i want on my arm um you know it looks nice on people i just don't like circles <laughs> I was literally trying to explain this to my friend the other day and it was, she gets it, but I was just like, I know it's really weird, but I just don't like circles as shapes, you know, I like straight lines um, as a tattoo, like if I'm thinking of what I want on my arms or on my body, I like straight lines rather than circles, um, so that's why. I didn't get that and obviously then at one point I thought maybe I could get like Mickey ears like the ears that you wear um, when you go to the parks like the mini ears or whatever and again that involves circles and I kind of kept drawing it on myself and trying to get used to the idea of it and I was like oh, I'm not sure if I like it and then eventually I came to the idea of getting a small tattoo of a castle you know the Disney castle and I looked up like designs and stuff online and I was like I really want the castle to be Disneyland Paris's castle I don't want it to be the generic a generic like Disney castle because there are many different castles uh, Disney castles anyway like you know you've got the standard Disney castle that you get in the Disney films which is beautiful like that's a cute you know thing as well a lot of people have that as a tattoo that's nice but I really wanted it to be the Disneyland Paris one and then I found this design 
on them. They've got it actually at the moment on quite a lot of things in Disneyland Paris. So last time I went to Disneyland Paris, which was a few weeks ago, um, I made sure to take pictures of different things that I saw with this design. And that's kind of how basically my tattoo artist did my the outline of my tattoo. So I obviously sent over the design. He made it the way I wanted it. It's basically the exact same design that I wanted, just without them. I'll show it to you. Actually, do I show it to you? Basically, just go and have a look yourself. If you've got the Disneyland Paris official app on your phone, it's basically that logo. Um, so if you want to go and just have a look at it, you can do that. Just type in Disneyland Paris. But that design is on a lot of merchandise. Well, not a lot, but quite a few merch pieces at the moment in Disneyland Paris as well. Especially if you're like a, a Disneyland Paris Infinity Pass annual pass holder it's on that kind of merch anyway i love the design and uh yeah they did it and i originally wanted it a little bit smaller so i went to like a, a couple of tattoo places obviously showed my design blah 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 once i knew for sure that i wanted it um and initially i also wanted it the other way around which now i understand is like upside down i get it i'm obviously very new to the world of tattoos so i didn't really get it uh, both tattoo places i went to said um we recommend getting it the correct way like if you really want it we will do it for you the other way around like basically as you can see my tattoo is facing this way like so when you know when i'm standing when i'm just walking around you know it doesn't look upside down it's normal obviously with your arm with your hand it is difficult and dip, you know because you're constantly moving it so it will never constantly look the right way around but like you know most tat everyone who is into tattoos any professional tattoo artist will tell you that this is the right way to have it um so yeah it took me a couple of days to kind of get my head around it having this way around i could like i said i could have still had it the way i want like originally wanted it but you know i decided to go with what the professionals say and i ended up deciding that i actually really like it and prefer it this way myself as well um and yeah when i went and they also said that it has to be a little bit bigger than i wanted it originally because of the fact that it's quite detailed and they wanted the lines to look like as best as possible and also obviously tattoos over the years um change a little bit because it's skin you know it's not going to be perfect forever and if they did it any smaller they said it wouldn't look as good in the future that kind of vibe so i decided to accept it. again i had to like sleep out, sleep on the whole idea of it being a little bit bigger um that's uh, like thought about it a couple of nights and I was like mm, yeah I'm okay with it being a bit bigger as well and um yeah I went and did it really um initially I went uh, to another tattoo place that I look I'm basically I did, I did a lot of research guys I, you know I didn't like just go on a spontaneous whim um initially I was gonna go to another tattoo place in like uh like central London um that had really good reviews online and it was very popular and i visited it and i didn't like the vibe of it like it's very popular i'm not going to name it <laughs> but i just didn't like it and anyway, the receptionist i don't want to say it was rude but i just felt like he was a little bit judgmental maybe because it was my first tattoo like this is when i was just going to go and check like i wasn't going to get it done that day um and i just didn't like the vibe of it i really didn't and then luckily one of my friends at work knew of this place called extreme needle which is also in leicester square um and she'd had like piercings done before um, i don't think she'd had she has a tattoo but i don't think she's had her tattoo there but she's had piercings there before so she's gone there before and she recommended it she was like it's a nice friendly place and so that the same day that i went to that original tattoo place and i didn't really like the vibe of it i decided to go to this other place as well because it was within walking distance um and i just really liked the like genuinely really liked the two people at the reception like the two people at the reception desk made me feel so much better than the other person had in the other tattoo place they were just a lot more friendly like they still told me oh i think we should we think it should be the, the other way around kind of thing blah 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 i said, said the exact same things but just it felt less like crazy I, I felt a lot more at ease just from the vibe of the reception and i think that is a big deal and obviously because of my friend as well the fact that she'd been there before and she'd done piercings i was like oh okay well, yeah we can trust that the place is clean professional and then i went home checked the place reviews blah blah everyone was saying good things so that's where i went uh, extremely door it's in leicester square it's just by the Noel coward theater uh, which all that also makes me happy because i love theaters you know it's very close to it um yeah and that is basically it that's kind of how i came about wanting the tattoo obviously you guys know i love disneyland paris but you know this tattoo i just love how it looks as well i love the design of it i love the outline i just love that design of the castle i love the disneyland paris castle it's my favorite castle of all time i love disneyland paris as a park it's my favorite park of all time and i just love disney you know i think i feel like it rep represents everything that i love in just kind of one small subtle thing um 
and I knew I'd never wanted it to be coloured. I don't personally like coloured tattoos on myself. It's not something I ever want. You know, who knows, maybe in the future I might, but at the moment I just don't think coloured tattoos are for me. I also didn't, you know, want it to be anything more than just an outline. And I always knew that I wanted it on my arm as well. Like, um, I don't know. I just, I've just always known that. Like I said, because I've always, like, I've grown up just constantly drawing on my arms. Um, that's what I've always wanted. Like, in my head, I've always thought if I ever do get a tattoo, I would want them to be on my arms. Because, you know, that's just how it is. That's what I do. Um, so, yeah, the whole tattoo experience as well. Great when I got there. My brother and my friend Rakai came along with me. Um, they said that, they, you know, they couldn't come inside the actual room. And I knew that, you know, maybe if I, like, asked them again, they would have said, yeah, sure, they can. But I didn't really want them anywhere. Like, I, I love you, Reza and Rakaya. Um, but I just, I was happy to go to the actual tattoo place and have it, you know, just be there on my own because I think um, I've got a bit distracted having them there and I just wanted it to be a personal thing between me and my tattoo artist. He was called Ben and he was fantastic, you know, lovely guy. Um, yeah, he was really nice and he was, it basically, he, he like, they do like this stencil thing first, obviously before they actually tattoo you, just to make sure it looks good and it's in the right position and blah, blah, blah. And he did that five times. He kept being like, oh, I don't, I'm not sure if I like the, um, he, basically he wasn't happy the first four times with the positioning of uh, the stencil. And so he was like, I'm really sorry for being anal. He, this, these are literally his words. And he was like, I'm just gonna have to like do that again, just cause I wanna make sure it's perfect with the positioning. Like every time he put on, I'd look at myself in the mirror and be like, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. I think that's good but then he was like no I think it needs to be just that little bit more straight or maybe just a little bit more to this side and you know that's why I liked him you know that that just shows what a great tattoo artist he is and he did such a good job like everyone who's seen the tattoo since has said what an incredible job he's done with the lines and how clear they are um yeah I'm so so happy with that and yeah I don't really know what, what else to say I guess the pain as well that's something that everybody wants to know um I wasn't really worried about the pain because I'm, I've always been fine with needles <laughs> you know when you get like an injection or like a vaccine or that kind of vibe I've never like found them too painful or anything I've always been fine like I know there are some people I know like my, my brother for instance he doesn't really enjoy <laughs> I mean not that I'm saying I enjoy needles going into my skin but like my brother haven't, has never been a fan of getting like his blood taken and that kind of vibe whereas I've always been okay with it like it's never been something that's bothered me um and I kind of assumed that it would be that kind of pain and yet honestly it was less painful than an injection like I'm not joking I understand that obviously my tattoo is quite small and it's also um in a place the, the positioning of it is in like a very meaty place like if I had the, the same tattoo on the other side of my hand for instance where it's more veiny it probably would have hurt more but yeah the place that I had it on it really didn't hurt much at all um it hurt less than like I said an injection or a vaccine and I'm being completely honest when I say that um it was like maybe a third of the pain that you get when you get an injection just obviously more continuous because it went on for about 10 20 50, I don't know 10 15 20 minutes like it wasn't just like one time so it went on for a while but the pain was completely manageable um throughout the rest of the day it did hurt every now and again but like honestly nothing bad at all um like I said, I, I realised that this is like a very small tattoo, just an outline. If I had shading done, if I had colouring done, it would have hurt more maybe. But I just, you know, it, it really didn't hurt much. So that's just my thoughts on the pain situation because I know a lot of people are curious about that. But I think that's it. I feel like this video has been <laughs> very, very long. Lord have mercy. I'm very happy with it. In fact, just today... Um, I was coming back from a friend's birthday and I was on the tube and I just got off the tube and um, this woman, like this random woman, uh, tapped me on the shoulder and was like, and I was listening to music as well so I couldn't like hear properly and I looked over and she was just like, your tattoo is amazing and it honestly made my day and I was just like, oh, thank you and this is like in a busy tube station and I was just like, oh, so she's obviously seen my tattoo whilst we were both on the tube and it just... It just really made me happy so um everyone's been really great about it so far and even if they're not like i don't care like i said I've, luckily no one said anything bad about it so far to me yet my dad doesn't know it know yet but he will find out soon uh, he'll probably not like it but i'm sure he'll get used to it eventually my mum has been surprisingly <laughs> good with it at first she was very upset but um yeah i think she's dealing with it and she's like you're getting there um but yeah anyway i love it uh, it's for me at the end of the day you know you guys have been incredibly kind about it as well I post a picture on instagram 
and lord have mercy it's like literally become my most liked instagram post ever like you guys have all been so nice about it so thank you to you as well if you haven't checked out that picture my instagram is sam for god go and check it out if you want um but yeah thank you for the response it's honestly been fantastic um i have to say a massive thanks again to my brother as well and my friend rukaya for coming along with me and my friend abby actually as well my friend abby was the person who came with me to both of these tattoo places the first time i went to them just like to check them out like the initial time um and i honestly would not have been able to go without her <laughs> it's one of those things where we were she's like one of my workmates and um it was in between shifts at work and <laughs> the first tattoo place that i went to the one that i decided to not to get my tattoo done in as i mentioned before just because i wasn't happy with the atmosphere the vibe of it it, it just it, like it looked intimidating just to go in and <laughs> like it's bad isn't it when you when you feel intimid intimidated just to go inside a tattoo place i feel like the, from the start i was like no i don't really like this place but thank you basically thank you to abby for coming with me to both of these places and like being there when you know because when you isn't you know the tattoo scene isn't really my scene like i said it's my first tattoo so um it was just great to have a friend there so thank you to abby thank you to my friend sam as well for recommending the second place i went to the place i got my tattoo done extreme needle and cut and uh, leicester square because like i said it's just always good to go to a place where it's trusted like a friend that you trust has been there and had stuff done before so you're like okay you know i can you know, i can trust this place because someone who's a opinions I trust and as a friend has been there before and has recommended the place and that always is better than going to a completely new place that you don't know one you know has ever had anything done at before if that makes any sense um thank you to all my friends really my best friend Arazu for <laughs> um just like you know telling me that it's gonna be fine literally all my friends because oh my god my friend Al as well I have to give a shout out to my friend Al because he's got a lot of tattoos and um I talked to him quite a bit about th this tattoo before I got it and he was very supportive so really all my friends and yeah because as well i said this is my friend al this is the first time i've done something big without like properly consulting my parents first um and uh yeah it felt weird doing it and i think i was a little bit ner nervous about doing it mainly because i hadn't talked to my parents about it before doing it i mean i have a great relationship with my parents i talk to them about everything but with this particular thing i just knew that they wouldn't really like the idea or wouldn't want to know anything about it so i decided to not tell them properly anything i kind of my, i told my mom i was going to get a tattoo but i didn't show her the design or anything i just told her that i was going to get it before i got it didn't tell my dad anything and it was just weird to, to you know not have had their input um and instead i relied completely on my friends so thank you to all my friends like i said who yeah talk to me about it you know <laughs> listen to me you know we're just patient enough to see all my designs because like like i said at first i wanted the other way around and i like went to my friends and asked them what they thought and they all the majority said yeah it should be this way around and just like yeah thank you to my friends i love them okay i'm gonna end this video <laughs> it's been really long leave any comments that you want or questions in the comments section below and i'll answer them i thought i'd show you the tattoo one last time because I, like i said i am obsessed with it anyway oh is it gonna fall focus lord have mercy there you go oh, i'm so 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 happy with it like i cannot get over how nicely it's come out so there you go oh so good um but yeah thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you next time bye